video today to tell you about our big announcement, our big Disney announcement, and our big travel announcement. What is it? We're going to China. Yes, we are. I'm excited. So we're going to China on September 16th for flying out. It's a shitty ass, long ass, how long is our flight? Not that bad. 10 hours, 12 hours? 13. 13 hours, 13 hour flight. So we go on the 16th and then on, what, September 21st, 20th? 20th. The 20th and the 21st, we're going to Shanghai Disney. I'm excited. I've already downloaded the app onto my phone and we've been watching YouTube videos and we're planning our trip and we're getting so excited to go to Shanghai Disney. Be excited. And we're gonna vlog the whole thing and we're gonna show you guys all of our adventures at Shanghai Disney. But what else are we doing? And then, <laughs> and then we're going to Hong Kong. And then what date, the 5th and 6th? October 5th and 6th, we're going to Hong Kong Disney. I'm excited for that one too. Cause that one's not as busy as Shanghai. Oh, it shouldn't be now, cause Shanghai's open. Yeah. And that he's leaving me He's going back to work and I am staying in Asia. Um, I'm going to Thailand with my best friend. Um, so I'll be there for two weeks and I'm gonna film all that. Oh, we're gonna film all of Hong Kong Disney too. Obviously. Yeah, and then um, I'm gonna take you guys on my travels through Thailand. Um, we're gonna do the Northern Thailand. We are going to do um, like the islands of Thailand and Bangkok. And then I am gonna go back to Hong Kong Disney. It's gonna be my first ever solo trip. I'm going back to work. Yeah, he's gonna work. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Disney. I'm gonna have my first ever solo trip in Hong Kong Disney. That's kind of cool. I was listening to Lou Jello's podcast about solo uh, Disney trips, and it was all about like Walt Disney World solo trips. And I get to do uh, Disneyland, and it's a uh, Hong Kong Disneyland. So it'll be my first ever solo Disney trip. Because the sorry, I'm excited. I keep talking over you, but um, Hong Kong Disneyland is very close to the airport, so I can ditch my bag. I have a layover for from 8 a.m. till 7 p.m., so I have time to ditch my bag, get over to Hong Kong Disney, and spend some time there. So I, it'll be my first ever time being an annual pass holder too, because I'm gonna buy a Hong Kong Disneyland annual pass. He might too. It depends on our maybe. Our, we're gonna see how our routing is in Hong Kong because if we can get a third day in, then he's gonna buy an annual pass too. Because it makes sense, um, their annual passes are ridiculously affordable. Yeah, so we're doing, we're starting in Shanghai, doing Shanghai Disney. No, we're starting in Beijing, we're starting in Beijing. There you go. We're doing the Great Wall, we're doing like the sites around Beijing. Um, then we're going Shanghai next. So Shanghai Disney, and we're doing, what areas are we doing around Shanghai? I like how she's trying to explain her trip, but she doesn't fully know what we're doing. I don't know how to pronounce things. I don't remember <laughs> the name of things. You're Chinese, speak. I don't know how to pronounce them. He's the whitest China boy you'll ever meet. <laughs> so what's after Shanghai? There's the little areas around Shanghai. What are they called? You don't remember either. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're we're doing some day trips from Shanghai, and then we're going down to um, Hong Kong. But we're gonna go to Gai Guilin. Guilin? Did I pronounce it? Cool. I don't know. Sure. Close enough. We're going to Gulin, maybe. Gu Gulin um, to go the caves and such there. And there's some beautiful like water gardens. The river. Yeah, the river looks beautiful. So we're gonna spend a couple of days there. We're gonna go to Macau. Is that pronounce it right? Macau. Yeah. Macau, because it's like the Las Vegas of China. That's gonna be really cool. And then Disney. That's gonna be on your birthday. Yeah, we're going to Macau for my birthday! I get to gamble on my birthday, right? We can gamble there? I don't care. As you there. said, it's the Las Vegas. It's of Las China. Vegas, right? <laughs> and they have like the Venetian in Las Vegas. That's the one that has like the the ceiling that look makes it look like you're indoor outdoors, but you're indoors. The Venetian? Venetians, that hotel in Macau that looks like you're in Venice. Yeah, but they have it in Las Vegas too. I was watching Carla Rubino's video today, she wanted it. Okay. But they have that in Macau too, so we have to go in there, so that'll be really cool. It'll be on my birthday. And we're gonna go to, it's like the east north area of Hong Kong. Yeah, for the islands there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we're gonna go hiking around the islands there. As you can tell, this is like a brand. We just booked our tickets, 
so our routing isn't 100% official yet, but the trip was official so, and the Disney parts are official. So we thought we would share it with you guys because we're so excited. But he doesn't seem excited. I'm very excited. <laughs> you're more excited. I'm excited. Just, you're a little too excited. It's Disney. I've already cried a few times watching the Shanghai Disney video, so just imagine me in person. <laughs> That'll be a mess. I'm excited. Um, I'm not excited to do all the work and planning. That's no, I'm gonna help. That's another thing. So we actually got ridiculously good deals on our flights, especially myself. My flight was ridiculous. My routing, I'm flying Toronto to Beijing, Hong Kong to Bangkok, Bangkok back to Hong Kong, Hong Kong to Vancouver, then Vancouver to Toronto, and I can see how much my flight was, right? My, my flight, it only cost me $1,059 for all those flights altogether after taxes and Canadian dollars. Who had to plan that though? And how much did your flight cost? Uh, like $844. And he's flying from Toronto to Beijing and then Hong Kong to Toronto. And they're non-stop flights. Yeah. My, mine are non-stop. Uh, yeah. Because I booked, actually, do you know what? We are going to do a completely separate vlog and show you guys how to find really good deals on flights. How to show you guys the sites we use and sh kind of show like how we, um, how we kind of plan this. Because I say the royal we, but I mean him. But I have, yeah. I've <laughs> learned his ways over the past over four years. Um, kind of. Shut up. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to show you guys some tips on how we budget for our trips. Because we actually, we travel a lot. And we're not rich and we manage right but I want to show you guys how I found my like ridiculously awesome seat sale it wasn't even a seat sale it was just like an awesome awesome way to do my routing of my trip to save me a bunch of money because originally I was looking at a flight that cost 1800 so I saved like almost eight hundred dollars all my teamwork my dollars so. <laughs> yeah so if you guys want to follow along and see our Shanghai trip make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you can follow along because Shanghai Disney is so new and we're going so soon so it'll be super cool to to like show you guys around and stuff and because it's it's quite a far time away and like I won't be able to edit big videos on the way so I'm gonna do some like one shot kind of vlogs to show up and be like hey look what I see whatever I don't know yeah but I'll vlog my whole trip, including Vancouver, because I'm gonna do a bunch of the grouse grind. Uh, the grouse is a mountain there and you can hike it. Um, yeah, you do it for time. So if it isn't close for winter yet by the time I get there, because I'll be arriving there on November 3rd, I'm gonna try and do it every day. But I don't know if it'll be close for winter yet or not. I'm hoping it won't be. I'm gonna do the grouse every day for 10 days. I'm there for 10 days. Af oh, we'll see what jet lag. Because I leave, um, Bank, or I leave Hong Kong on October 24th and then I arrive back in Vancouver on the 24th and it's like a 13 hour flight or something. That's kind of cool. It's the time difference. Yeah, so if you guys want to see some cool travel tips, maybe we'll post some other videos too just showing us how we're planning our trips and the way we budget and, and what you're packing. Yeah, I definitely show you how to pack for a backpacking trip because we are roughing it. We are just living out of backpacks. I'm away for almost two months and I'll be living out of the backpack. That has to weigh under 40 pounds. Under 40 pounds for two months. I can do it. I can live like a dirt bag. Why not? But it's going to expand to 60 pounds because all the souvenirs are going to I'm going to buy all the souvenirs and then when he goes home, he's going to take them all with him for me so my bag can be light again. You're lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, we'll post some vlogs as we kind of get ready for our trip, show you some of our planning and routing, because I don't know, I, I enjoy seeing what other people are doing, how they're planning, and it's always good to like get some tips on if you guys want to head to China, but you don't know how to afford it or don't really know how to plan for it. It's always like, some good tips to know, and he's like the Bible for that kind of stuff, so it's a good one to have around. That's why I'm marrying him. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> Okay guys, so if you are interested in seeing our travel tips, if you want to see our travels, if you want to follow along on our Disney vlogs, um, Disney vlogs do not include Florida that are going to be our international 
Asian Disney's in Shanghai Disney with the biggest castle. Then make sure you subscribe to my video. Make sure you give this video a big like. We get some up. Yeah, give this video a big like. Subscribe to my channel. Guys, I am Gabby Fit. Bring out your awesome. Bye. We're good? Mm-hmm. <laughs>